to uh, another trending topic uh, right now from uh, a guy named King Harris. Um, he's been trending uh, for negative reasons, but this is T.I.'s son. So let's just get into a little snippet real quick. Uh, we got a couple of clips here to show you, but we're going to get into a uh, Something from last year it was towards the end of last year. Um, I believe he may have got arrested or something like that. Um, he got in some trouble and uh, he, he decided to make a response for it. But we're just going to give you a background on who this who this guy is, T.I.'s son. So let's just watch this real quick. And I, I truly the only thing I know about T.I.'s son is when he was out, like when he had the TV show. I seen his kid when he was like maybe. Like, yeah, he was little. He was like five or something yeah it was like five or something and i i haven't watched that show since yeah, he's then. totally different person now i mean i think i watched one season that's when i had a girlfriend at that time um i don't even know what city i was in bro but truthfully let's see the video i don't even know what i'm about to watch i don't follow yeah, it, this it's, shit uh, i really don't follow these these celebrity uh, news and and you know what's funny we was just ti was just in uh dre's we was just there in vegas so like i said go to the blog you can catch us T.I. is a cool dude. I don't have nothing bad to say about T.I. I respect his hustle. I think he's a king of it, one of the kings of Atlanta. Um, like I said, we just he just did an event. We was just in uh, Vegas, um, and it was dope. So, listen, shout out to the king, T.I., Tip, whatever you want to call him. But if this is this, this his son? This is his son. His name is King. So let's, uh, let's just take a look at the first clip real quick before we move on to the details. And sure. let's just get an idea of... of who he is, how he operates, and thinks. Let's get into it. Yeah, y'all right. I get, nigga got too much money. This is how niggas supposed to be every day, but shit. I'm sorry that a motherfucker caught me while I was, you know what I'm saying, on my way to vacation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was doing what a young nigga was supposed to do. I ain't want to be in there. Yeah. Everybody that say a nigga trying to be gangster. Nigga, I ain't asked for the police to pull me over, y'all bitch ass niggas. Fuck. But one thing over here, I know that motherfuckers around Wild Beasts, we solid Why them motherfuckers. Like Box that? of rocks, yeah. Another thing, when was it said that gangsters have to do this with police and hey, 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 hey. Y'all stop this Alright, we're gonna, that's that's the end of that clip, but um, we're going to move on to the main one. But basically, uh, he had gotten pulled over, um, arrested. I guess he was he was responding to that. But just to get you an idea of, of, you would never know this man is who he is by the way he operates and speaks. But um, he's a, he was born into a very, very rich right. family, um, gated community all his life. Right. Probably six figure cars or 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 close to it all his life. Right. And getting pulled over, arrested, getting in trouble with the law, like his father did, but his father didn't come came from the total opposite of that. But um we're gonna get into what's actually trending now this year. This was last year, now this year, recently within the last week. Um, there's a little video of him and his and his parents getting into it at the Atlanta Falcons game. Um, so we're gonna play that real quick. I, I see why. You played this, and it's very slick, right? I mean, you're showing me how this kid is operating, coming from the family of, of the kings, or T.I. and yeah. Tiny, right? Yeah. But he's, he's, he's not hood. He's not from the streets. He didn't grow up like T.I., right? Is that what you're getting to? No, I mean, I mean, T.I. is worth, I don't know if he is anymore, but at that time when that show was on, he was worth hundreds of millions of dollars. He's one of the hottest artists in but, the game. But he didn't start that way. Of course not. But his son started with a spoon... Uh, what they call a silver spoon in your mouth. Yeah, well, he 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 takes disrespect when he say that. I mean, to the him, guy is. I'm, I'm watching the it video. It is what it is. It is what it is. But I'm watching the video. It seemed like he's trying to be hood, like he's from the streets. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> he, he acting like he's 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 gangster. Yeah, we're gonna let's let's just see him. Let's Yo, see him in action. Hold on, real quick. Don't take bubble baths like that. <laughs> that ain't gangster. Yeah. <laughs> what, bro? Don't ever do that. Any of you guys taking bubble baths? I mean, come off fruitcake. Let's get into the video. Stop it. Get some help. 
<laughs> right. have, you, have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the goal. All right, That's not the goal. Oh, you got in the neighborhood. Oh, man. To make him look better, he said he know not true. Oh wow! Silver spoon. I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Silver spoon. Come to my grandma house, cause I'm getting in the you fight. You act like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You you to hold your breath. Every day. Every day. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's why I want to be. I don't want to be in these gates. I'm gonna tell you the reason why you want to be over there. <laughs> Y'all ready? Because he be sucking pacifier over there. You know, twelve years old. He was sucking pacifier. He was twelve years old. He didn't do that in the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a pacifier. But they ain't gonna tell you everything like that. They're trying to hide it. Jesus. All right. So that was part one of this uh, trending. What I mean ended up happening is him and his father got into it. It looked like a fight. The camera was I mean, all I, place. I was you reading tell, article. But, I, I mean, we get alerts on our phones, man. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I I heard some things, but listen, man. First of all, the disrespect that this man shows his family is is how you don't ever get the seat. To be in the king position. And it's in public at the arena. It's not like it's at home. Listen, man, 20 years ago, this shit would never happen in our communities. You will get checked very quickly. But this this comes down to the issues with single mothers raising men. and and Or you're so successful and rich that you don't have time because you're so busy building your empire that your kid is just living off your fruit and your labor. And he doesn't respect you because he's a trust fund baby. You know, you got to understand, T.I. truly slept with roaches and, and shit like that. A lot of us come from that, where you you have issues in housings because you live in the ghettos, where there's a liquor corner, a store on every corner. There's cities out here all over the country where there's a liquor store on every goddamn corner. Yeah. Why? They poison our community. They don't want us to be successful, just like they didn't want us to be successful in Africa. Why is it so many guys getting assassinated that believe in one country, one Africa? They're dead. You can't push that message because you take away the French economy, you take away America economy, you st you take away the Spanish or Spaniard economy. They live off our resources in Africa. It's just that simple. You mean so? The world's changing, and and you got to understand, if you're going to get rich or you're going to be successful, you must have to raise your children to be respectful. You must put fear into your kids. You can't be friends with your children. You guys out here building relationship with your children, not preparing them for the world. It's dangerous. I think it's difficult, though, for him. I, don't, I think I'd like to, I don't know for sure, I'd like to give T.I. the benefit of the doubt. I do, too. I, I, like to say he I don't did blame what he was supposed to do, but I don't blame Ti. You're going in. It's like going into a fight with one arm or one leg when you're when you're trying to raise a child, and you have this much money, and all they know is this much money. All they've been in is a gated community the whole life. Um, Michael Irvin's a good example. He he said something recently within the last month about his son, right? Um, where his son is making music now, and he's speaking like Chief Keef. And he put him on blast on national TV. He said, you've been in a gated community your whole life. What are you talking about? You know nothing about anything that you're talking about. Why are you saying that in your music when 0% of it is true? And that's what's happening here. I mean, the same thing. T.I. got probably made even more money than Michael Irvin has in his life. This kid's been around money his whole life. It's very confusing, but it's difficult. I mean, entitlement. And, and all these other things come into play when you're just all you know is being rich. That's why they hit him with the silver spoon statement that he didn't like. Well, you got to understand, man. Listen, our communities are being attacked, and they've been attacked for the last, since since Martin Luther King, Michael Max. You guys got to, this this is this is not just about black culture. It's about all culture. If, 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 if a woman's going to keep having children without a man being present, this is a possibility where your kid can operate in this reality, or if you get money and be successful. The point is, 
You have to be there for your kids so you discipline them so they don't disrespect you like this. And he has a response, actually. <clears throat> T.I. has responded to it just the other day. Um, so I don't know if you, you want to hear his response. Well, yeah. I mean, he has something to say about this trending topic now. And I, I don't, I, like I said, I haven't watched this video, but I mean, I bet, I mean, it's got to be a message to his son. Because, I mean, what are you going to say? Yeah, I mean, it's he's just, he feel like he need to say something because everybody's talking about it. He probably sees it on his feet bro. all day long and he feels like he needs to now speak Social on media it. now, bro, I mean, real quick before you get in this video, every time you say something or post something, the your fans attack you. I mean, just like they attacked yeah. Beyonce for saying she's trying to be white, and it's not true. Y'all idiots. Stupid. Beyonce is is legendary. Stop disrespecting her name. Stop disrespecting Beyonce and everything she worked for. She's doing everything the right way. Some of y'all need to go out there and try to find your king before you disrespect Beyonce. I don't I don't like this shit. But it's 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 a fact that when a man tells you what it is, y'all go in the comments and destroy him because y'all saying he needs to say something. You don't know what he's saying to his son. You don't know what he's talking about. Some people don't listen. Some kids are idiots. They don't want to listen. It's like they, I said, they, it's even harder when they're born rich. Bro. It makes it more difficult trust to Trust fund babies, them right. you can't trust them. You just can't trust a trust fund baby. It's a fact. Ah, got he. They beta males. They simps. Beta males. They're beta males. They're simps. You cannot trust a trust fund baby. Trust only a man who goes in the mud and work. He goes to war. That's why everybody you know, wanted Julius Caesar. They wanted Julius Caesar because he went to war. Do you know what it took? For that man to conquer gore. I'm just say this real quick before we get in this video. Julius Caesar, look him up. Watch every documentary. He had to kill a million men by hand in combat. Those what women want. They won't look, they want warriors. They want motherfucking kings. Period. Let's get into the video. Yeah, let's see what T.I. has to say in his response. Got a minor request. Hope everybody having a phenomenal morning. Got a small request, man. Uh, stop hitting me and getting in my comments, telling me what to tell King. Okay? I know my son. Think I ain't spoke to my son. Think I ain't told my son, his mama, and his grandmamas. His ass going to prison. If you got damn keep that shit up, his ass going to prison. Ain't no way around it. Ain't nothing I'm gonna be able to do about it. Can't nobody stop it but him. You know what I mean? I've already had a conversation. You know I mean? I've already made my peace with it. Because I know that Bruh. energy. I was that energy. I know exactly how it's gonna turn out. Can I you can. Can I take a selfie with you? No, go ahead. Please, you I'm in the middle okay. of something. I'm in the middle of something, but go ahead. This is more important. Go ahead, come on. Thank you. Y'all get that money. Never okay. disrespect a fan. Yeah. So, I not already had that conversation with him, man. King's a good kid, chasing after the wrong shit. And, uh, you know, I trust in God to deal with it the way that he see fit. You know what I mean? It ain't really shit else I, you know, he done got all the whippings. He done got the punny. He done did that. He done, yep. you know, did everything as a child you could do yep. to him. So now, he's going to he gonna have to go through it. He's going to have to go through it and get through it. Let me, let me get in yeah. this real quick because we got we got one minute and 30 seconds on yeah. this, okay? Listen, very quickly. When a man puts you in a position, there's going to be always a bad seed. There's always going to be a bad son, okay? This is why God created us to have many kids, many sons. <laughs> I don't know why people trip today when a man want to have an empire of children and he has multiple baby mothers. It was programmed that way. You want to have as many men as you can so you can have you're going to have bad seeds. This man has a bad Not seed. Way. Doesn't mean can he change? T.I. is basically saying, my son's going to end up in prison. Period. If he doesn't change his lifestyle. That's a good parent. He's telling his son publicly on a platform like, listen, bro, if you don't change the way you're going, you're going to be worse off. I survived it. I lived through it. I lost people. Murdered, dead. Brothers, people are love for this career. You're not tough like you think you are. You guys got to teach your kids, man. I'm telling you, they're disrespectful. At five years old, twerking, thinking they motherfucking some Nicki Minaj or 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 they even act as if they some type of who you want to call a Sukiana. They not. He belongs to the streets. 
And I respect any woman that go get a bag, but you got to understand, you got to be very careful when you surround your men, your boys, with the wrong people. They end up like this. Yeah, and this is just a good example to show you that you could have all the money, you could have everything that you need that's the opposite of going through a struggle like you did, but look, I mean, p- people with money, Michael Irvin's a good right. example, T.I. is a good example. They got money, their kids have no reason to do the things they're doing, the same things they're doing, but they're still doing it. I feel bad for T.I. I truly do, and I, yeah. I and I truly feel his pain. I understand what he's saying. He, he He said he's done everything. His son has no reason to do anything that he's doing and saying things he's saying. He has it made since he came out of the hospital. He's basically telling you guys to stop attacking him in the comments. He's doing everything he can as as a father. He's tried. Yeah. So, but anyway, shout out to T.I. Hey, I hope you fix all your issues uh, with your your kid, man. I, I hear you, bro. Thank you for watching. The Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.